Good morning, so let's get our daily tarot message. Message from the universe and spirit. So today we have the Empress with the Hanged Man. And let me tell you, we have been receiving a lot of major arcana. In tarot, the minor arcana represents day-to-day living, whereas the major arcana shows destiny and things happening on a higher level from the universe, spirit, God, whatever you consider as your creator. The minor arcana shows that you yourself or us can change things where the major arcana shows the universe or spirit is controlling things that you have to go along with whether that is positive or negative if there are a lot of major arcana the universe or spirit is making change happen so let's get into the specific cards so we have the empress which is femininity nurturing beauty nature and abundance Uh, She is deeply embedded in our feminine side. It is associated with fertility, creativity, expression, and calls for us to connect with beauty and our intuition in order to bring happiness and abundance to our lives. It also can represent pregnancy and birth. And the hangman represents pauses, surrender, letting go, um, seeing things from a different perspective or new perspective. You could be feeling stuck or stagnant in your life. So he, the hangman, understands that his sacrifice of life is in order to progress forward on his path. It can also indicate a period of indecision. Taking action is not always the best solution, but by taking a pause or surrendering to certain circumstances, it may actually just just be as much or if not more greater uh, benefits. So the concept of sacrifice may play an important role now. And we all know sometimes when we're on the wrong path and we keep pushing at it, the universe or spirit will bring in that tower moment and remove it and almost to a violent way. So, so, um, so this is an important role right now to sacrifice, to hold back. And whether it's a relationship, a career, whatever it is, however it represents in your life at this time. So taking a step back can be a process of realigning on your path to something more fulfilling. Sometimes we need to put everything on hold to move to that next level. This also can represent that things have come to an abrupt or unexpected halt. And we're being encouraged not to keep pushing or beating on that closed door. It's the universe's way to help us to reevaluate re-evaluate or see things with new eyes and prepare us for the next up-leveling of what's happening for us. So together with this empress and the hanged man, it indicates a time where patience and nurturing are needed. It's a time to slow down, take a step back, and consider everything from a different perspective, looking outside the box. So the empress indicates a time for growth and abundance, while the hanged man signifies a process of surrender and letting go. We are being asked and encouraged to release our grip on certain control issues or or beliefs to allow ourselves to nurture what is really important to us, to let go of old habits, or old beliefs that are no longer serving our highest good. And with the Empress, you can uh, tap into your potential and move forward with grace and ease, while the hangman reminds us to see things differently and trust that things will unfold in their own time. So let's go ahead and get the underlying energy. So we have the Emperor here, and along with the Emperor, we have the Seven of Cups. So this is being faced with a decision or choice where a logical, confident approach is needed. And it's making a choice with conviction and strength after taking our time to carefully consider the options first, weighing the pros and cons. We also have a power couple here with the Emperor and the Empress. So, by the way, Emperor can represent Aries. It doesn't have to. It's just the first sign that has come in in this reading, so I just wanted to point that out. But anyway, this power couple, this can represent a strong nurturing partnership. It can also be a strong, harmonious balance between our masculine and feminine energies within. Either way, this does suggest, this reading does suggest good fortune, prosperity, creation of something beautiful and powerful coming in. You know, and with all these major arcanas, I do see that spirit and the universe is working to bring you beautiful things with prosperity, abundance, love, happiness, and peace. As long as you co-create, do the work needed, be grateful, and accept these gifts. So let's end by reading these quotes on these cards, okay? So the Empress reads, Only passions, great passions, can elevate the soul of great things. The Hangman reads, When I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. The Emperor reads, First say to yourself, what would it be 
and then do what you have to do. And the Seven of Cups, who so loves believes the impossible. So that's the message today. As always, thank you so much for watching and stay safe. Take care. Bye.